Now our third speaker today is Yernar Kosamanov with his speech titled The History Makers. Please help us welcome Yernar. <clears throat> Hello. Alihan Bogihanov, Sakensi Fulin, Ahmed by Tursinov, Bruce Freeman, and many others represented history. The history of Kazakhstan, the history of our nation, the intelligence, the courage, the passion for liberty, for free Kazakhstan. We dreamt of being free. We dreamt of Kazakhstan, where we can freely express our thoughts, we can, where we can educate ourselves, where we can develop as a personalities. They left our, their legacy to us. They left their message. But how manage this legacy? Are we courageous enough to continue their paths? Are we brave enough to fight for liberty? Are we brave enough to tackle corruption? Are we? 21st century, younger generation of Kazakhs, our generation, independent Kazakhstan, 25 years of independence. What do we regret in these 25 years? I'm 26 years old. In fact, I'm older than this country. <laughs> I know it's funny, but it's true. And uh, that's why maybe I treat Kazakhstan as something really close to me, because we will grow in together. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, we know for a fact that we're destined for bigger and brighter future. We know it. There is no other option. Failure is not an option. Not for us. Not for anyone in this world. I'm going to tell you something. Defeat is a state of mind. No one is ever defeated until defeat has been accepted as a reality. Do you want to live in this reality? In the reality where you go for a job you don't like. The reality where you work for someone you can't stand. The reality where you purchase goods you can't afford. Why being unnatural? Why being plastic? You should be real. Because we live only once. Once in a lifetime. There is only one life. And how you live this life is up to you. Only to you. We have multinational country. We have different backgrounds, different religions, and different nationality residing in one country, in peace. And I sincerely believe and I hope that we'll keep it up. That step by step, we'll get even closer. Because it should be this way. It should be the way of love, the way of peace. We shouldn't be the one advocating for confrontation. We should be the ones advocating for peace. We should be innovative, courageous, brave, compassionate of what we're doing and why we're doing it. In the 21st century, everywhere in the world, human has everything on the palms of his hands, literally everything, because in the palms of your hand, you can reach internet. You can seek for knowledge. You can learn new language. You can travel. But do you do this? You aim for freedom. You aim for hobbies you wanted to fulfill, you, your goals to accomplish. But did you accomplish them? Kazakh. Uh, the word Kazakh can be translated as a free spirit. 
a free spirit, and uh, do we live up as a legacy of our nation, being free? Do we live up by the legacy which were left to us by our ancestors? Because they wanted us to be free. They wanted us to be someone who live a conscious life, a life of intelligence, a life of inspiring others, inspiring the whole world, leading by self-example. Do we succeed or we fail? In many cases, we succeed. Our country has pros and cons, as any country. I know for a fact that we have not something which others don't have. A great human potential. A great human potential is something which differs us from other nations, from other people. We can be proud, Kaz we can be proud Kazakhs advocating for a strong Kazakh idea of being united. Regardless of your background, regardless of your religion, regardless of your nationality, we shouldn't be saying like, I'm a Russian Kazakh, I'm a Kazakh Kazakh, or I'm Ukrainian Jewish Kazakh, doesn't matter. We all one nation. We live in one country and we should be united, regardless of our backgrounds. Because hatred and uh, separation is something which our enemies wanted us to be, but we should be united. Because if we are united, if we act as a team, no one can ever defeat us. But if we act as individuals, we'll fail. My friends, I encourage you to think. To think of all the possibilities the world is offering you every single day. To think of possibilities this beautiful world offering you. The world will be a better place to live in if you live up to your fate. The fate of success. I refuse to give up. I fight every day with my biggest enemy, which is myself. Every day when I wake up, I see in the mirror and I see the guy looking at me from the other side, telling him, you shouldn't go to job, you shouldn't practice your skills, you shouldn't develop. And uh, I reckon in each personality we have an alter ego. Alter ego in Arabic is called nafs. Nafs which uh, drives us to the deep evil, which is not fulfilling your potential. I believe in human potential. I sincerely do. I know for a fact that all of us have so much to offer, and if we are going to start acting today, right here, right now, by fulfilling our potential, we'll be just fine. Kazakhstan is a great country. Kazakhstan is a country of opportunities. And uh, together, our generation, we can build a bright Kazakhstan. Country with a brighter future. I know for sure that we're all destined for bigger and brighter future. Thank you very much. Please give a round of applause to Yirna.